What's up, what's up? Better Strong Man here at Texas Strong in the USS Carroll, Texas, at 360 uh, Strip Athletics. Getting all set up for today's comp, and I want to come at you with uh, the final installment of my series, uh, Regroup and Regrip. Uh, it's days like today that, that really, really makes me focus on what it all really means, putting it all together. So I kind of want to come at y'all and just talk to you about a little bit about it. So here I am, five hours from home, got off work, jumped in the ride, slept on the way, woke up, weighed in, time to compete, time to get at it. Now what, what makes somebody go work eight hours out in the heat and then go home, shower, jump in the, jump in the car, or go to sleep, you know, as best you can and go compete because there's something inside that tells me that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. So when you have a call on your life and you have a call on your heart, you got something that you feel like you're supposed to be doing, and then you turn around and you be, the, be that obedient steward and you train that, you, you, you make that work for you, you know? It's, it's something that, that you just can't let go. It's, it's uh, I've heard uh, C.T. Fletcher call it his magnificent obsession, you know, if, if you will. You know, you call it what you want to call it, but me, I know the Lord has a plan for my life. I know, I know he has a plan for everything that I'm doing. Uh, you know, this is my this is my, my 50 pound chain, piece of, piece of toe chain with uh, some uh, rail spikes welded. I hand welded these myself. You know, people that often ask me, you know, what is it, why is it that I'm, you know, what, what are you trying to be Mr. T or, or why you got that big chain on? Well, in the book of Judges, chapter 16, verses 19 through 22, it's the story of Samson where Samson, you know, he, 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 you know, Delilah finally got him. He finally, you know, he told her the, the truth of, of what his secret was. So she cut his hair and she, and just like times before, she yells out, oh, Samson, Samson, uh, the Philistines, they're, they're, the Philistines are upon us. So he jumps up like he always does. because He's big, bad Samson. But he, the Bible tells us that he does not realize he does not realize that the strength of the Lord had left him. Now this, this is Samson. Now this is, you know, grabbing a fresh jawbone of a donkey, slaying Philistines by the heaps, man. 5,000 Philistines. He just, he's a conqueror. He's a just, man, Samson. And you don't realize that that kind of power has left you? You don't realize that it's gone? And you just acting like, oh, you know, regular everyday thing. Well, they put the bronze shackles on him, chained him up, and put him on, you know, put him on the on the on the grinder, the like a like a work mule. I don't want that to be me. This is a reminder for me. This this reminds me that my Lord and Savior gave an ultimate sacrifice. This reminds me that it's not just me, that I am not alone. So when I regroup, when I regrip, when I dig deep, when I go harder, when I push further, it's because I know that the Lord has my back and I know he's with me. So yeah, I, I wear a 50 pound reminder around my neck. So I would never forget. I would never fall into the world and I would never forget what, what the Lord has in store for me. If I just remain obedient, that's the same for all of us. He has a predestined path for all of us. If we put him first, if we seeking him first and put him first in all things, delight thyself in the Lord and you will receive the, the, the desires of thine heart. Boom, you know, the, it's, it's a road map. It's too easy to get caught up in religion. What I talk about is Christianity. I'm talking about Christ, man. I'm not talking about all this Rudy Poo, you know, socialize, you know, so, social uh, uh, event kind of stuff. You know, let me be in uh, po social politicking and everything with, with religion. No, no, man, no, no, no. You don't have to tell a man how to worship. All you got to do is tell a man that he can and and, and, let, and let him know, you know. And that's that's what it is. You know, we got some of our competitors coming in, some of the guys helping out for the, for the event today. So I, I'm, I'm excited, guys. I'm pumped. You know, I, I didn't have my Bible study in today, you know, right on time as always, you know, coming out of Psalms. And, you know, I, I feel like a lot, in a lot of ways, you know, regrouping and regripping, uh, there's more ways that I can apply it to my own life. You know, 
and I'm always seeking a better way to do that. How to uh, regroup with myself when I get angry with my kids and I get it and I regrip so I can teach them a godly way instead of you know uh, a spanking or, or anything like that. You know, you know instead of getting into whooponomics, which is going to be my next series, <laughs> whooponomics. Uh, but uh, if you ever find yourself in a, uh, between a rock and a hard place in life, you need somebody to talk to, your licensed counselor, and you, just, you don't understand, you don't, you don't know if there's, if there's a way to do that, you know, you don't, you don't have any money, you, you, whatever the problem may be, whatever's keeping you from reaching out for help, you can always contact uh, engineradio.com, uh, that's N-G-E-N radio.com, uh, or 1-800-LOVE-ENGINE, uh, uh, L-U-V, N-G-E-N and they have licensed counselors. I love that ministry. I support that ministry because it's 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 a it's a Christian radio station uh, and they play you know rock pop uh, hip hop Christian all Christian music and uh and man it's it is phenomenal it is a phenomenal message. It's, it's great music. You 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 wouldn't know the difference if you stumbled across uh, 91.7 in Houston and, and check them out. You know uh, usually coming at you from office gym and missing nutrition but hey like I say I'm on the road so how do you how do you regroup and regrip number one you ask yourself you 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 figure out what motivates you what drives you what motivational tools do you have in your arsenal you know you know mine by now and if you don't it's Jesus Christ that's my that's my that's my motivational tool what's yours you know what what what, what drives you what what, what caused you to, 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 to dig deep? What have you heard? Who has, to, who has impacted your life to get you or have or make you uh, better than what you are? You know, the, the, there's so many different motivational tools that, that, that you could use uh, that you, won't even, you don't even know. It could be music, it could be a song, it could be anything. But as long as you have something to tap into, then you have more power. You know, infinite power relies on Christ. You know, you know get with it. But, a lot of times we, we don't understand what exactly, how do, how do I get that? How do I get what you got? How do I get where you at? You know, you gotta start from somewhere. You can't just start out being better, being the best, you know? You gotta start out grinding, hustling. You gotta start out, you know, with these little things, all these little things such as regrouping and regripping. you know? Uh, I'm gonna come at y'all next time with, uh, with my next series on, on whooponomics. Break it down for y'all. And so you can so I can show y'all some of these tools, these motivational tools that I that I use. Whooponomics is one of. So uh, this 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 uh, better strong man coming at you from Carroll, Texas, getting ready to compete at uh, at uh, USS Texas Strongs.